Paulie back with part two of the crew close beta on PlayStation 4. Just finished Welcome to Detroit and got myself my first gold medal. So here we go then with part two of the video. I'll be uploading to YouTube very soon. Stick a couple of parts on, have a little bit of a break. I might be back to do a few more parts tonight or I'll get some more done tomorrow if I don't get time tonight. So I've got some creepy, uh, mysterious meeting here with, uh, with my bro. Definitely looks a bit like Owen Freeman. That's the guy. Stay low. Probably never a good idea to walk over to mysteriously parked cars in the dark, is it? Holy shit. Dayton? See that dodgy cop there wiping the gun on his trouser leg. Ah, uh, you gotta hate corrupt cops. Five years later. I'm assuming I've been uh, sent to prison. What have we got here? Bit of a babe. Hello, Alex. My name's Zoe. I think we can help each other. Yeah, old dodgy cop. You know these guys, right? Of course you do. One killed your brother, the other framed you for his murder. Here's the deal. I want this guy. Special Agent Coburn, he's dirty. All I need is proof. And you want this guy, Dennis Jefferson, AKA Shiv, leader of the 510 Motor Club. I'm in. You've got eight more years in here. We can wipe that slate clean, clear your name. I said I'm in. Okay, you're here by working for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I got nothing against being on the right side of the law. There's a ride in the shop across town. I'll be in touch. Let's hope so. I'm keeping this. <laughs> Whatever gets you stoked. So I've got to find Dodgy Cop and Agent 47. So frame them for your brother's murder. Uh, set up by a dodgy copper and one of the gang members. Hopefully that's not my car. We have a budget for this operation, Alex, but it's limited. I've given you enough cash to buy and set up your first ride. Spend it wisely. After that, you'll have to fund upgrades yourself. They're all available to test drive, so take them for a spin if you're unsure. So, let's go to the showroom then. What have we got? 
2010 Chevrolet Camaro SS uh, available in black 426 uh, brake horsepower not really a, a car expert so I haven't really got a clue what all these what all, the, all these fancy stats mean we've got 2013 Nissan 37DZ uh, Z34 I've not a clue uh, I think I'll just pick what looks good Ford Mustang GT 2011 it's alright and then we've got a 2012 Dodge Challenger SRT 8392 whoa a bit technical uh, so I'm assuming the brake horsepower probably means the car's more powerful faster maybe but I've really not got a clue so let's pick one because the time is a ticking Let's go for the Camaro then, why not? You want to buy this car without a test drive? Yep. Use bucks. And there we go. Didn't get to pick the colour though. What a shame. Got a nice shiny new black car. There are car dealers like this all across the country. Each dealer has a different stock of cars, so you might want to swing by each and take a look. There are 510 tuners all over the country who specialize in different car modifications. As this operation progresses, you'll need to access these tuners. But for now, let's get you a street ride. Street spec cars are lightly modified rides built for street racing and tuned for the open road. Most common 510 ride for a reason. Street spec should be your first choice for cross country road trips. Right, so I've got to go and get the car modified then for street racing. So I assume there's some sort of waypoint for that. There we go. Uh, driving test, it seems. Sure, street car tuner level one. So street car tuner then. Set waypoint. Quit out of that. Let's rock and roll. More loading screens. There's a tuner across town. I'll send the location to your phone. Call me when you're done. I've got no boost. Where's my boost? I guess I have to install it. Ah! Oh, for God's sake. Straight away, gun smack straight into a bloody car. I've only got a big crack in the window. Not good. So if you're wondering, is there any graphic differences between this and the Xbox One? Um, I certainly can't tell anything major anyway. I assume they're both running in 1080p, um, but maybe not for the beta. They both look pretty stunning. The cars are all nicely detailed. Oh, I can say. Missed the turn in there completely. Enter the car tuner. Both versions look really good. More loading okay, screens. Alex. Let's get your ride fitted for street spec. Right then. Every car you buy at a car dealer is a full stock ride, ready to improve at a tuner. There is one tuner per region, and you can buy a different spec starter kit from each of them. These kits transform your vehicle for different terrain types. After fitting a spec starter kit, you can buy car parts that are automatically installed on your vehicle. Installing mechanical car parts increases your vehicle's car level. The higher the car level, the better it performs. Right then, let's get our street kit installed. Level one street kit, yes please. Don't want to choose Looking the starter kit. Let's hit the streets. Yes, we do. Street car purchased. It's a brand new car. Complete missions and skills to win parts. Yes. Tune your car. We choose a different colour maybe. What we got? Let's have a red one. We got enough bucks for that? Yeah. Let's spray it red. Why not? 
jump out of that. Hopefully get into some racing now, not having much racing in this part of the uh, the beta. Alex, come over to the location I'm sending you now. I want to see how you handle yourself. Let's go and meet Zoe then. Where is she? Driving test. Set waypoint. Quit out of that. Right, so she's... Oh my god, what earth am I going? I'm going all over the place. You trying to give me the slip? It won't work. Back off, I'm coming. The PlayStation's just telling me my battery's getting low. Right, I'm just gonna quickly nip, nip my playing charge kit out of the other controller. We don't want the battery to run out while we're racing, do we? Be a bit embarrassing. All right, all right, keep your hair on. So we've got to beat Zoe in a race, and hopefully, hopefully we'll have enough time to. You've been inside for a long time. Finish Let's it off. see if you remember how to do this. Beat Zoe in a race. Let's go for it. Yeah, that's a little bit of boost. Nine checkpoints again. You know the deal. Here's the fine print. We're going after Coburn first, Shiv second. Anyone else I arrest on the way is a bonus. I'm not helping you take down the whole five tens. I'm interested in dirty cops and murderers, and that's it. Speaking of murderers, we're putting Shiv away for life. You kill him, you're back in that cell. So, no killing Shiv then. Ah! And he runs someone over there. For Coburn, I get that, but why do you need me to get him? Coburn's weakness is the 510s. He's got half the FBI in his pocket. If I came at him with a regular investigation, he'd see it with his eyes closed. But if I get an inside eye on Shiv's operation, we get them both. You've got the skills and motivation to see this through. I have no idea where she is. Try, trying to concentrate here. Oh, she's coming up behind me, so she, she, she's not far. Let's try not to clip any more cars. Yeah, she's right up my backside. So where are we going now? I've set up an HQ. We need somewhere safe, somewhere your crew can work to support you. My crew? Your crew. A point man's only as good as the team that stands behind him. Three seconds in front. Oh, the best boost. Where is she? Uh, quite a bit of distance between us. Hope you get time just to wrap this up in this uh, part two here we go it's nice and easy for much effort really mission complete and a bronze medal on the on the ecu part one whatever that is let's equip it why not Bit more experience. Okay, you pass. In here. I think you're gonna like this place. So we just kicked Zoe's butt. Oh, she wasn't that hard to beat, was she really? Tutorials are generally pretty standard in most games. Like it or not, this is home for the foreseeable. Here, 
I've been laying out the basic intel so far.